Welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing a reading from June 28th to July 4th. And this is going to be a general reading. It may resonate with you. It may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Pisces, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future. I'm going to clarify the cards for you and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge for this coming week is the temperance. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups in reverse. Okay, so your challenge has a lot to do with patience, divine timing. Um, the divine is stepping into this situation at this time. We're going to clarify and see what this means for you in a moment. In the recent past, Pisces, you have the Hierophant, the King of Pentacles, and you have the Page of Swords. Someone here in the past was definitely offering a commitment to you. Uh, but I feel like there was some sort of issue here between you and this person because possibly someone here was too preoccupied trying to find facts or information um, instead of just going with the flow here in the past is what I'm getting. In the present moment, you have the Ace of Cups, you have the Queen of Pentacles, and you have the Star. There's definitely a brand new opportunity in love. Could be a new connection that's coming into your life. Maybe somebody um, wanting to have a new beginning with you here. Could be an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, maybe an Aquarius in the present moment. In the near future, you have have the three of swords you have the two of swords and you have the king of cups it's very interesting because in the near future i do see you offering love to someone here but at the same time someone here is possibly closed off they still haven't completely healed and you may be thinking in the near future you know what is there something wrong with me or do they not like me i don't think there's something wrong with you i think this person still needs to heal and they need to open themselves up up if they actually want to have um love here okay so let's get into your reading and let's do some clarification let's see what's going on all right so the first card i'm going to clarify for you is the temperance Okay, so the temperance is clarified by the Eight of Cups, the Star, and the Ten of Wands. <sighs> Someone here walked away from you, okay? Maybe it was another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, because the, the situation was very difficult. But what Divine is saying here, your challenge has a lot to do with having patience, okay? A lot of you are like, why did this person walk away? Why did they disconnect from me? Why are they making you know my life difficult? All you want to do here, um, Pisces, is you want to heal from the situation. You want to heal the situation. You have a deep wish here. What the divine is saying, your challenge, has a lot to do with being patient in this situation. I'm hearing wait for it wait for it wait for it and a lot of you are like wait for what i've been waiting i've been waiting nothing has happened the the more you start to act like that and be like that the less it's gonna actually happen for you um you need to forget about something here and just allow the divine energy the divine flow to come in to set something here right okay something that's been very hard for you and difficult to get over and you keep wishing for it and it's not happening because you are trying to control the situation energetically okay Try to release and allow it to flow. All right. That's your challenge for this coming week. Now, in the recent past, I'm going to clarify the Page of Swords. Okay. So the Page of Swords is clarified by the Eight of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. Someone here, um, how do I say this? Someone here in the past didn't really see something for what it was in the past okay they came towards you possibly to work things out but then they left or they disconnected i feel like someone here abandoned the situation they could have told you either you need to be open to working on this with me or you need to just leave the situation here okay someone wasn't really 100 percent confident in the situation in this commitment or having this commitment with you even though um the reason the resources were there the money was there the finance you know this person was offering you all of this, but you were maybe hesitant here in the past or this person was hesitant. And this may be why um, something never really got off the ground here in the past. Okay, some of you wanted to marry or commit. It didn't happen here in the past. 
someone here walked out and left. Okay. So in the present moment, what I'm seeing here for you, Pisces, is there is a new love connection that's coming in here for you. We're going to see what that is all about. But first, I want to clarify the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this could be an offer that's coming in for you. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is clarified by the Temperance, the King of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. Someone here is definitely showing up wanting um, happiness with you, wanting a relationship. Again, a lot of you, when you start to release control, because your challenge has a lot to do with the Temperance and it is showing up in the present moment. So it is telling me that the wish that you have, you have some sort of wish here in the present moment. Um, it is happening for you. It will happen for you. But when you let go and you release... This person, whoever it is, they show up and they want to have happiness with you. They want to have a brand new beginning. Tell me more about the star in the present moment for Pisces. The star is clarified by the Ace of Wands. You have the Knight of Wands and you have the Ace of Swords. Whoever this person is, Fire Sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, um, I have Aquarius here. Whoever this person is, I do see them showing up. Okay, I do see them showing up. I do see them wanting to have a new beginning with you. And most importantly, this person wants to have a conversation because what I'm seeing here is, is that you both still love each other, Ace of Cups. There is still some sort of unconditional love. Ace of Cups for me is unconditional love. Even though it represents new love for me, it is unconditional because as we see with the Ace of Cups, water just flows. Doesn't matter. Water is just always flowing and that's a form of... um consistent love so tell me more about the ace of cups in the present moment for pisces so the ace of cups is clarified by the eight of pentacles the empress and the page of wands whoever this is they're definitely someone who wants to move into a new direction with you they want to work on this okay um you're not expecting this it's something that happens for you but you don't expect it okay and if you are expecting it it's going to be delayed temperance so someone here wants to work things out. I do see them initiating. I don't see you initiating. It's them that's initiating the situation, okay? So what is interesting here in the near future, you do see this energy. You do see this person wants to be with you. So what do you do? You get into the King of Cups mode. You're like, okay, I'm ready. I got my cup. I'm ready to give my love to this person. I'm ready to go. King of Cups is always ready to give love. They just sit there and they wait. Okay, you see, this is you. Remember I said this person's gonna come to you. I don't see you going towards them. I see you waiting on them, okay? Um, problem here is, is that this person, whoever this is, air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, they are closed off. Tell me more about the three of swords in the near future. So the three of swords is clarified by the two of wands, the knight of cups, and the chariot. Some of you um, in the near future are going to be dealing with a cancer, maybe a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, uh, maybe another Scorpio here. Someone here is still devastated that there was a third party situation, whether you were the one that put them in a third party or this was a situation that they were dealing with in the past. Um, I do see you offering love to this person. I do feel that this is a, this is someone from the past that you had a breakup with, okay? There was a separation because there was a third party situation, but I see you coming towards this person and offering love because you want to heal this person's heart. You don't want to have this person in this situation. And most importantly, I feel Pisces, you want to move past this situation with this person. You don't want to be in separation with them, okay? So why is this person being closed off in the near future with you? Tell me more about the Two of Swords. Tell me more about the Two of Swords. So the two of swords is clarified by the knight of pentacles you have the nine of wands and you have the wheel of fortune someone here is wanting to have a new beginning with you they want to try again i don't see this person giving up on this situation pisces um but what i am seeing is is that this person's waiting for the right time they're waiting for the right opportunity okay they're taking their time so if you're someone who's like i want it now i can't wait i don't want to be waiting for this situation um, this is something that you may have to consider when it comes to giving this person love, because I do see you giving them love, but this person wants to take their time. They're not rushing into this, maybe the way that they did in the past. Okay. So let's, um, clarify your energy with the King of Cups. And we're going to see what is actually 
coming in for you, okay, when it comes to this love situation? What is the message here for you uh, about this, if this is your story? What is your message here? So the King of Cups is clarified by the Ace of Cups. You have the Tower and you have the Death. Your, your message here in the near future, uh, Pisces, is to put behind you some sort of situation that really caused a lot of pain, a lot of change, a lot of drama here. Something here was shaken up, okay, um, or will be shaken up here in the past or in the near future, excuse me, uh, but you need to put it behind you, okay, in order to have this new beginning. There's something here that you need to put, uh, put to an end. There's some sort of shocking situation that happens in the near future that instead of dwelling on it, instead of um, determining whether you're going to give your love to this person based on some sort of event or situation, there's something here that you need to completely transform, put an end to it, and then get back on track, which means um, being open to giving love, being open to receiving love, but putting something behind you at the same time. I know I keep saying that. It's some. It's a message that someone here need, needs to hear if they want to have a successful union, okay? Because I feel like you want this situation to move forward, but there's a reason why it hasn't, okay? So let's get some advice for you. What is the advice? So the advice for you here is the high priestess the seven of pentacles and the six of cups. The advice here is to think long and hard how you want to move forward with the past because the past is going to return. It is going to show up. You've wanted it to, and it is going to show up for you. Um, your intuition is trying to tell you something about this. Okay. Before you invest your time, energy, money, resources, etc., etc. Think long and hard if this is something that you actually want to pursue and that you actually want to do because it looks like it may just be happening for you, okay? So Pisces, this is what I have for you. A bit of a little uh, confusing reading. I hope you got something out of it. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.